So the, the question is, is when you're picking a book for investing, right, what are you looking for? And you're looking, what I'm looking for is something that will change how I think about companies or you know, the economy or something in that regard that will make me actually a tangibly better investor. And the book that, the most recent book that has done this for me, and when I think about you know, like a big change, I mean, it has really tangibly changed how I think about business. It is called The Outsiders uh, by a man named William Thorndike Jr. And basically this book, it, it traces eight different CEOs who over the years have achieved these just absurdly ridiculous returns. Henry Singleton, who is the, who's the main person he talks about at the very beginning, it's, it's kind of the story he wraps around Henry Singleton and then he, he brings seven other unconventional CEOs into, into the equation. If you had invested a single dollar with Henry Singleton when he took over Teledyne or when he started the company Teledyne in 1961, when he retired, in 1990, which was, mind you, in the midst of a very severe recession, that single dollar would be worth $180. And over, over that 30-year stretch, he, re he returned 20.4% on a compound annual basis. And just to put that into context, Warren Buffett, who is like, right, the best investor of all time, has returned 22.3%. Uh, on a compound annual basis over his 36 years. So he's basically right, right up there with Buffett. And the question is, how, does some, how did somebody like Henry Singleton achieve this? And you know, the, the, the title of the book, The Outsiders, kind of gives it away. These guys are not your Jack Welches, who are your real famous CEOs, who are known to be particularly good operators. These CEOs were exceptional at capital allocation. And what that means is that Look, you have Jack Welch and these, uh, these other just fantastic CEOs who are able to, to help their companies earn a lot of money. But then the question is, what do you do with that money? And, what, and, when, and, and in determining what you do with that money, how big of an impact can that have on your returns? And what they found is that Henry Singleton, over the years, and, and, and just and Teledyne was a conglomerate, so he would buy other companies with his high price stock, and they had had low price stock, so he'd arbitrage in that way. But over the years, he bought back after, so in 1960s, after he, he finished purchasing a bunch of companies and building Teledyne, he repurchased 90% of Teledyne's outstanding common stock. And he did it at cheap prices. And that was the way that he achieved those phenomenal returns. And you go back through all those other CEOs that Thorndike talks about, and it's the same exact story. So the takeaway from Thorndike's, Thorndike's book is this. There are two types of great CEOs, talking very generally. The first are those operating CEOs who are just phenomenal running their businesses. The second are those CEOs who are phenomenal capital allocators, like Henry Singleton, like Warren Buffett. And it is generally the latter category that produces the largest compound annual growth over an extended period relative to the former.